These are the moments Dr. Frank Plummer will never take for granted again. A year ago, I was sitting in my chair, basically waiting to die. This story starts in the 1980s, when Plummer was doing groundbreaking research in Kenya at the height of the HIV-AIDS crisis. Surrounded by illness and death, Plummer drank to deal with the stress. In the latter years, I was drinking about 20 ounces of uh, whiskey a day. That continued when he took the top job here at the National Microbiology Lab in Winnipeg. It's the only level four lab in the country dealing with the most deadly pathogens like Ebola. But sources inside the lab have told CBC News they believe current problems, including poor morale and leadership issues, stem from the days Plummer was in charge and drinking heavily outside of work hours. I hold Frank responsible for creating the toxic environment, one staff member says. Plummer denies that. I don't think it affected my work. When I was in Kenya working on the project, uh, directing it, I could honestly say I was the best in the world at that. And when I was running lab in Winnipeg, I can honestly say I was the best in the world. Yeah, I look back and I have no regrets about anything. Dr. Plummer. Plummer's work garnered awards like the Order of Canada, but in 2012 he found out he had cirrhosis and end-stage liver disease. He got a liver transplant in 2014 but started drinking again. Last year, doctors told him his transplant was failing and he wasn't eligible for another one. So he became patient one in an experimental treatment. How do you feel there, Frank? Um, Dr. Nir Lipsman yeah. implanted electrodes, trying to rewire a part of the brain connected to pleasure, rewards and addictive behavior. It's not a light switch. It's not something that is just turned on and patients no longer have the condition or no longer crave alcohol right away. It's more like a dimmer. These days, if Plummer has a glass in his hand, it's usually filled with water. When he does drink whiskey, he stops at two or three glasses. It's really changed everything. and I don't have the cravings that I used to for alcohol. Instead of waiting to die, Plummer says he's now writing his memoirs, working on a vaccine for HIV and enjoying life again. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Toronto.